Greetings, fellow beings. Ho, ho. <laughs> what a wonderful day. What a great time to start. Started about four minutes early today. I hope you guys are having an incredible one. It's lovely out here. Ah, we are sitting at 24,000 subscribers on our way to 25K. I'm tempted to schedule a 24K celebration stream, and our goal would be to get that last thousand. What do you guys think? Think that's possible? I would hope so. Um, yeah. Let's see what you guys think. We got Terry Rose out there in the house. Good morning. Good morning to you. The famous LDG Pickles. What's up, Pickles? Good to see you, buddy. There's Captain Phantom Nerd saying, good morning. Well, good morning to you. The Animation Critic is in the house. How's it going, my friend? And, of course, we've got the famous Judicon. What is going on, Judicon? Looking great, my friend. My friend. We got the real Sean Cremel. What's up? Randall Orser is checking in from Canada. What's going on? There we go. And he says 24K now. Uh, 25K Mankini. No, not happening. Good try, though. What's up, Lee Kindler? Good morning to you. Good to see you. We got D. Bud Martin in the house. One of the hardest working wrenches out there. Show him some love. We got Bill Chapin. Or Chapin. I, I'm going to have to ask Bill someday. Good morning. Good to see you. Scott Cook is in the house. What is up, my friend? OC Diddy 93. What's up? Elizabeth Young is here. Greetings, dear. Hope you're doing well. The animation critic is joining us. It is uh, good to see you, my friend. And we have a few other folks that have just decided to pop in the door, like Jay. What's up, Jay? A single consonant. See, unlike, uh, unlike my good friend Jonas, I know what a consonant is. He does not. All right, let's get into the picture of me. Hi, everybody. Good to see you. Yeah, a lot of people are asking, uh, you know, what is this, where it came from, and who's involved? Well, you can see that is Al Gore. But there's many other people involved in this, this entity that we're going to talk about. It's the headline story of the day. And when we get there, you're going to love it. Um, it's, uh, it's a weird situation, the people who were involved in this and... The, the titles that were supported by this and everything else and how all of that changed, uh, including, you know, a lot of failed experiments that, of course, were ground zero for the, uh, the degradation of entertainment, or at least one of the sources, at least in film. Like I said, they did try to get into TV, but we'll get into that in a moment. It'll be the story while I take the most time today. The Gaming Dude. What's up? What's up? Dwayne Erickson's here. It's story time. It is. Ah, my buddy Joe's atmosphere's in the house. What's up, Joe? Good to see you, buddy. We've got uh, Neon Lux in the house. Now, I recognize... Uh, I recognize uh, that... Uh, I haven't, I, did we hung out before any on looks? I don't know, but welcome. Thanks for being here. Is this live? It says Mankini celebration stream confirmed. It is not. No. Joker voice. What a great dude. Hang out with him in Vegas. If you're ever in Vegas. Yeah. Wrapping up at work, stopping in to say hi. Well, take it easy, my friend. That is a long late night shift. I hope you're doing well. Get some sleep. Black Sabres here. It says, my Fallout review is dropping at 11 on Bleeding Fool. Well, awesome. I will have to read it. I gave my thoughts, obviously, on my video. You guys should check it out. Doesn't look like very many of you did. It's a great video uh, where I cover all of my thoughts on Fallout. But at the same time, I'm now on Criticless. So you can find me over there. I'm going to start advertising when I drop written reviews over on Criticless. And I'm going to start advertising when I do written stories over on that park place, because I'm, some of you may not know, I do write over there occasionally. I've got a story I'm going to be doing on uh, Larry Fink and the uh, wonders of uh, BlackRock and the interesting thing going on with their stock. They, despite the fact that they announced some really good numbers, as I reported yesterday, Cynthia Carter's in the house. Good to see you. Oh, and by the way, do check out Bleeding Fool. Awesome site. Great people over there. Got to hang out with Chris Braley yesterday on uh, the HCast. Another great show. Uh, I think I said hi to Animation Critic, but I didn't say hi to Nearsighted Cyclops. Great to see you. We've got Maestro Chi. What's up, Maestro Chi? 
And Smagination is over on Rumble. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. John Graber, the space jockey, is here. And the lovely Ann Shoemake. Good to see you. We've got um, the Bosco scenario. I think he's a special guest someplace. Oh, on the Spice Lounge. Am I right? You're on L Lorena Creole's Spice Lounge this afternoon. And time permitting, I will be there with you, my friend. It's been a minute. Hoove! What's up? Monkey Man was good, kind of. Like Hindi John Wick. Been digging Fallout so far. Have a great day, CC and Voltrians. I will agree with you on Fallout. I uh, tapped out on Monkey Man. Um, there was just too much going on, and I had to get Civil War done. And, uh, oh, I'll be seeing the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare tomorrow. And I'll have a review for you. Your average Patriot nerd is in the house. Good to see you. What's up, Steven? Good to see you. The bad caps out there in the world, and so is William King. And on that note, here we go. Uh, what's up, James Carroll? Who else is out there? Hey, it's Calf. What's up? Greetings. You're sunny England today. That's news. That's awesome. Good to see you. Marielle Newworth is in the house. Morning, boys and girls. Good morning, good morning. It's great to stay up late. Good morning, good morning to you and you and you and you. Remember when you, Disney used to do that? I do. Griffin! The talented Andy Masterson. All right, here we go. Six minutes starts. Now, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, wherever you are. And if you're watching, thanks for checking out the Six Minute Daily. We have a lot to talk about, not a lot of time to do it in. We're going to start with some interesting stories, I believe. Some interesting stories, I believe, like the fact that, well, the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare is opening this weekend. We were just talking about it, and I'm very excited to see this film. Um, it's really supposed to be down and dirty fun, very much a Guy Ritchie film, taking a historical event and making it great. Which, well, I would like I like to see great things, don't you? Well, I'll let you know how great it is after tomorrow's review. So make sure you check that out. I got a I got a Disney story dropping in like half an hour, right before midnight's edge in the morning. You're gonna want to see too. I'll promote that here in a moment. But we got to keep going with our stories here. We've got um, well, uh, this this is the name of the woke entity that really kind of destroyed most everything. Uh, it led to things like Spotlight, Green Book, and many other things being made. This is Participant. They're shutting down operations after 20 years. For 20 years, they've been trying to destroy entertainment, and they've done a lovely, lovely thing. So it is shutting down. It was there to inspire social justice in humanitarian action. Founder Jeff Skull broke the news to staff of Roughly 100 on Tuesday, established in 2004, it co-produced and co-financed a number of notable movies from Spotlight to Green Book, as well as Lincoln by Steven Spielberg. And the documentary of, you guessed it, and that's why he's there, Al Gore's Inconvenient Bologna Sausage. Um, say what you will, but that film takes wild leaps. Um, you can believe what you want to on the other bits about the climate thing. I'm not going to roll out any information here. YouTube does not enjoy it, but this is one of the reasons we ended up with that. This film helped produce 135 films and represented various interests that weren't pro-America. Um, so we have a lot of things that lead into it. The, the, the fact that they won 21 Academy Awards out of 86 uh, nomination tells you all you need to know about Hollywood uh, in, in a large sense. 18 Emmy nods uh, across five television series and grossed about $3.3 billion worldwide. Um, all of these wonderful things that they got just tells you where Hollywood is. Um, they had David Lind running it as CEO uh, in 2015. Uh, he used to work at Universal, and they just kept going. They had to shut down Pivot TV because it was just a failed experience of short-form content and unscripted programmings that nobody was interested in. So I will say uh, adieu to bad rubbish, and show, so should you. Speaking of rubbish, this film's starting to look like rubbish. Now You See Me 3 has some very weak casting that was announced yesterday, uh, including Justice Smith uh, and Dominic Sessa. 
this is not going to be a good version of this wonderful Lionsgate franchise. Today, alum Katie Couric came out yesterday and attacked Bryant Gumbel because he has an incredibly sexist attitude about her maternity leave. Um, you don't work with this guy anymore. What is your deal, chick? Uh, U.S. reps, that would be Congress, uh, re recognize that maybe there should have some concerns over the anti-competitive nature of Disney and these other entities trying to make uh, Spulu or Sports Hulu. I did a video on this last week. <laughs> Welcome to the catch-up uh, there, uh, U.S. House of Representatives. My Bialik, I don't know how to say your name, uh, says, hey, look, uh, Hollywood has been abusing us forever, especially as little people, and women! It's women are berated! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, BBC Blueprint to move um, $870 million of spending out of London. That's criticized by the Audit Office, because of course they want to keep it local, but Look, productions in London are far too expensive, so better to move it out. Michael does, Douglas wants to be killed off if he's brought back in a Marvel film. He tried to get killed in the last movie, and they just wouldn't do it. Civil War faces three adversaries. They're not really adversaries. Civil War is going to fall off a cliff. It's not a good film. So I think it'll be facing the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare as its sole competitor, which, well, hopefully the Guy Ritchie film wins the day. Rob Schneider denies that his comedy set was cut short because of offensive material that was removed. No. He says he's tired of the woke beat. Yes, I agree with him. Hugh Grant says he got an enormous sum settling his suit, alleging uh, the snooping from the Sun tabloid. The Fed is Powell and the fellow over there, uh, top Fed official Jefferson, say, yeah, we're not looking at you know, reducing rates anytime soon. Major stock indexes didn't react well to that news, and we're looking at a mirror copy of uh, yesterday, today, as the market ticks higher, but you will still probably see this go down. Japan has recorded a record trade deficit, which is not good for their economy, and the voting technology company Smartmatic had to uh, settle with uh, one of the right-wing, quote-unquote, news agencies. I think it was OAN. And we have Georgia's parliament voting for the so-called Russia law that will have to identify a entity that's owned by 20% foreign interests, which I think is interesting when it comes to news. Boeing reported a $124 million loss in a quarter that was marred by grounding some of its Boeing planes. Well, I think a lot of the airlines are reporting losses because of that. We got two more stories we're going to tackle in bonus time. So, hey, stick around a minute. In fact, let's jump right over to bonus time. I want to hang out with you guys some more. There we go. Hi. So there's your chat. It's good to see it. Uh, let's go ahead and add that into the layer so we can look at these other two stories because I think they're important, um, especially in light of some bad news uh, yesterday um, for... Uh, well, for Tesla, Elon wants his money back. He wants his $55 billion pay package back. So he wants the shareholders to reinstate it. And I do too. I, I, a lot of people do. The man was promised money based on performance goals, which he met. Whether or not those were easily attained or not is uh, up to opinion. But this is, you know, a reasonable request. They got to get out of Delaware. Everybody's moving out of Delaware. Mr. Wonderful is moving out of Delaware. Everybody's trying to get out of Delaware. Because it's just been taken over. It's now owned by the crazies. Speaking of the crazies, a circus elephant actually escaped uh, in Butte, Montana, and went for a stroll around town. This really did happen, and I had to get it on the screen. I didn't want to have the story there and not have it. So, uh, yeah. So, there you go. Elephant in town uh, from the Jordan World Circus. So, this is a fun video. You can check it out over on NBC Montana. Um, so good stuff. Good stuff. All right, let's get that off the screen. Da, 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 and say hi to you guys. Uh, a few of you popped in. A lot of you great humans. Um, we got we got so much going on. Uh, the, the, I love how busy we are now. You can literally go and will literally go from program to program to program. And in about well, eleven o'clock Pacific Standard Time, I will have a video out. Uh, on um, some uh, D D Disneyland expansion and my thoughts on it. And maybe it's not as quite a done deal as some people would think. But, um, hey, what would I know? I've only been covering this uh, forever. So, yeah, we got a super sticker from our great friend Christian DeLorme's Vinyl Revival. Check out Christian DeLorme's channel. Uh, Canadian $4. He's giving me my favorite thing, a cup of coffee. That's right. 
Oh, I'm going to record some stuff with Jonas, so you'll be seeing me over on that park place in a few videos over the course of the next few days. You will also see Jonas probably in a video with me in the very near future. Um, I'm loving this so much. Um, and you know what? This suggestion from our good friend, is this live for uh, five Canadian dollars, says you keep going into bonus time. Maybe make the 10-minute uh, daily a stretch goal for subtotals. Everyone could use more pigtails casino. Well, that's not a bad idea. Uh, technically, the show is, will usually last about 12 to 13 minutes um, if we don't go into bonus time. I like bonus time. So I had a thought while I was in Las Vegas with all the amazing people that were there, and we have amazing people in Vegas, guys. We really do. Uh, I really um, thought, why don't I just min make this the... Um, uh, like uh, the culture morning daily, uh, coffee culture daily. I tell you what, I'm going to put a poll up on the community tab here today, and I'm going to throw up some suggestions, but you can also comment on the poll and add your own. All right. So I'll do that later today so that we, we get that done. The amazing J, the single constant gives five culture casino memberships. Thank you for that, Jay. As we continue to grow membership back to where we were, which was exceeding 500. So thank you for that, Jay. Or 500, 700, excuse me. Thank you, Jay, for getting us back up there. Those. Those memberships really help. They are the consistent revenue that all of us that have monetization rely on regularly. At least for now, I'm looking at a different membership uh, mechanism in the future. For those of you who have these memberships, uh, do check out the community tab this weekend because we'll be looking at doing a member stream next week. And I want everybody that can be to be there. We got weird for an Australian $2. Good to see you. I feel bad for the 40K lore channels. My goodness, so do I. Oh, my goodness. We talked about this. I've now talked about this 40K thing for like a day and a half, two days on a couple of different channels. And I'm going to tell you, it, what they're doing um, is insane. That What they're doing is insane. It makes zero sense. Um why would you go against all the established lore? Because you want cheap money. Games Workshop took a hit. Did you guys see that? Dropped $2 yesterday alone. They're probably going to take another hit today. And they're not the good guys here. This UK-based company, they're not good. We should probably, you know, take a look at Company's House and find out just how not good they are. I think that would be worth, worth a dig. I don't know about the rest of you. Uh, Culture Casino Cafe. That's not a bad idea. Daily Dose of Culture, says Godzillionaire. That's a possibility. Um, <laughs> uh, D-Bud wants to argue with me. Actually, J could be considered a semi-vowel. I guess because it's used differently in different languages. Uh, but there's that. Is Penny here? Penny show. There's Penny. 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 Good to see you. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, 40K is wokeifying now, just as they're going into Cavill's project. Insanity. Uh, crazy stuff. I don't know what's going on. It's bonkers. I tell you what, the funniest thing was watching Mr. H laugh when we were covering the 40K story yesterday because what I found funny, he found funny, which is uh, 3D, printer, 3D printers go brr. That meme, that meme is going to live forever. Games Workshop's going to rue the day. They had goodwill with their customer base, and they just tore it up for some. I mean, this is, a, it, I guess people are calling it the the uh, Bud Light moment. I still want to call that getting Heiner Schneided. I think getting Heiner Schneided is probably the thing. Yeah. <laughs> Chris Shapiro. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the Scottish folks are crazy. The, the look, all crimes are hate crimes, right? Sorry, you know, they just are. And hate speech doesn't exist in this world. It doesn't exist in any world. Um, it, people's interpretation of speech is is going to differ widely and certain words and curse words are some curse words are worse than others in different countries. I mean, it, sorry folks, you cannot do that. 
Uh, free speech means you can say anything at any time, uh, at any point. That's what it means. Now, individual con- consequences for that speech could vary, but yeah. How about the culture daily? I like that idea, Neon Lux, and thank you for that. Um, I think I think culture daily would be good, right? And then I can get CJ to do a new background for me. I don't know. Uh, we're going to put up some polls before anybody does any artwork. We're going to put up some polls and see what we can go with for the background. I love this background. Um, uh, I don't know. We'll come up with a new name. Uh, the culture casino counting room. Oh, that's kind of neat. I feel like that would be a good, like, roundtable discussion thing. I don't know. We'll think about it. Culture, what was going on with YouTube last night? Everything was messing up. They've been doing a bunch of updates, which has been very bad for creators. I know you probably don't want to hear about the inside baseball stuff or the fact that, you know, creators are getting, you know, unrecommended and stuff like that. I mean, seriously, recommends are down substantially. But... Um, they've been doing a lot of updates. If you guys haven't noticed the new interface and everything else, it's they're it, doing those kinds, those level of UI changes is, is a struggle. So, um, just know that, uh, culture's coffee corner. I, I sure. I mean, I like coffee. Uh, the culture ca- can eat casino skim. <laughs> it feels like it. I really wish I could get more into the headlines and that's why I'm trying to produce more video content. So there's that. The high rollers room is kind of a reserve thing uh, for the folks that are the top tier uh, subscriptions for the channel. Um, and I, I really have to get them more uh, high tier content, some behind the scenes stuff, some some early release stuff is my plan for members. Uh, so keep an eye out. You're going to see more videos that are live for members only for like an hour or two. And then they go to the everybody else. Dice Media Group. Good to see you today. 40K is a tabletop game. Um, it has very deep lore, um, and in my opinion, really only a few armies that I'd be interested in playing. But it's uh, the, the it's basically fascism. The game, <laughs> I know that's hard to comprehend, but you have uh, you have space marines and 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 various things that battle. Um, uh, the cost of an army can be well over a thousand dollars, and if you go with some of the other stuff you can get into the tens of thousands of dollars and depending upon how many armies you collect and what you do as far as landscapes and things like that, you know, there's there's a lot of money you can spend on this game. And Games work, Workshop used to benefit from the miniatures and everything else that are associated with it. But we've had 3D printers for a while and people have been printing them. And a lot of people are like, that's illegal. No, I mean, sure. But, I mean, you can always do your own thing on that model and change it. So there's that. Um, Criterion has started a live streaming channel to compete with uh, Turner Classic Movies. I did not know that. Thank you, Q2Cast. Check out Q2Cast TV's channel. Do a lot of expo- expose news, and it's, it's taken them a while to grow because of that, because they're punished for it. But do check out the channel. It's really good. Um, Oh, Weird comes back with an Australian $5. Thank you, my friend. Says, um, I think that this is the perfect time for newbies to get into the lore. Learn about 30 years of lore before it's destroyed. Don't wait for Amazon. I agree. It's probably a good thing. Lots of great stories there. (laughs) CJ, how so? I steal bubble gun. Yo, that's not hate. Well, I guess that's true. Most, Most crimes are hate crimes against people. People and property. I can understand the other things, like, you know, stealing to eat. But uh, they could have just made a new legion of female Marines or introduced them another way. But to change the history and lie to the fans about it who know it, dumb. Games Workshop, bad. That's probably the best way to explain it, Rogue Thinker. Well done. Daryl Brewer, great to see you, my friend. Uh, Not all crimes. Crimes against person, generally, though. Yeah, crimes against people and property, I think, would all be categorized in that way. Why would you commit a property crime if you didn't hate something or someone? Good question. That's right. 3D printers go brr. That's one of the best memes of the last two days. 
Uh, Ram, Bam 3000. Good to see you. Yeah, a lot of people, uh, Cynthia Carter, I mean, there's a lot of people don't play 40K, but a lot of people understand it. They've heard some of the lore. They've been interested in it. After Cavill's project is done, I think a lot of people will know about it and be really excited and then find out it got hosed over already. Not great. <laughs> Dale Fendel wants me to come up with all these names. <laughs> <clears throat> Taking uh, six minutes out of the name would give you more leeway to running your show the length of time you want to daily. Indeed. Yeah. I didn't want to be just another news program. I did want to keep, I still want to keep the six minute frame up front, but just basically allow for bonus time. So, I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe a name change isn't warranted. Maybe a background is. Don't know. Culture Casino Coffee Clash. That's a lot of C's. <laughs> That's alliteration aside, which I love. I'm fond of alliteration, but why? Well, uh, well, hang on. I got another super chat. Uh, Bricky's every 40k faction vid is a good intro. Yes, go check that out. That's a good call. Thank you for another Australian Canadian two dollars. I appreciate that. Weird, weird. Appreciate it. And a couple more coming in. Uh, ta -da. Culture Casino, it's totalitarian, but it's not fascist. Oh, I don't know. Um, I mean, to a certain extent, and this is where I love where Weird comes in with that, uh, with the same kind of take. It's not, it isn't fascism, it's theocracy on steroids. Yeah, kind of. I mean, it's all a form of totalitarian control. So I'm not going to, everybody can be right on this one. I mean, maybe not, but I understand where everybody's coming from. All right. I, uh, the, the whole idea is it's just, you know, it's, it's this, it's the worst version of any of those totalitarian things, um, extreme control measures, uh, that, uh, uh, kind of flesh that game out. The lore is incredible. It's incredibly dense. I mean, as people have suggested, you got years and years of reading if you want to. You want to get involved in it. And I, I do think, and I'll go back to Weird's first chat up here. Um, Bricky's, go check that out. Bricky's every 40K faction vid is a good intro. You do want to check that out. Yeah, it's 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 well done. It's well done. Uh, let's see. Oh, whoa, Mr. Roden71 dropped a Canadian $27.99. That's very specific. Thank you for that, my friend. Thanks for, to Jay for the membership again. Going to have to subscribe along with everyone else. Well, thank you, my friend. Thank you. Um, yeah, yeah. Culture Casino, the best bets. I like that. I, you know what? I may use that for um, like my look forward at film and television shows. Chris Shapiro, that's a great idea. Somebody write that down. Now I sound like Ryan Reynolds in uh, what was that? It was a great movie. Hang on. Uh, he was stuck in college forever. Um, oh, no. I love this film, and now it just fell out of my brain. Holy cow, Chris Persa. Ten Culture Casino memberships. Thank you, my friend. I really do appreciate that. Thanks for being over here, too. I, you're awesome, my friend. Look at all these members now. You guys are great. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chris. Gonna have to do that. And Mr. Roden71, thank you for that as well. My goodness, you guys, crushing it. Okay, I like this. This is going to be my official take on 40K now. 40K is the worst possible future for humanity. Yes. Yes. I mean, just imagine if uh, Klaus Schwab ran the world, like officially, like out in front, right? Yeah. Oh wait, okay. See, I don't. I didn't ever know about this. Baldemort, Baldemort does good lore videos. Okay, complete with intro narratives. Even better. Thank you, Ramab. So these are two great resources to go and get your forty k history started. And the mil film was Van Wilder. You are a great man, CJ, and a and a very fine artist, my friend. Thank you for that. I do appreciate it. So there you go, Van Wilder. Fantastic film. I need to do a review on that on Criticless. Uh, that's a good question. Do you guys want me to review old movies on the channel in video form? Or would you rather read about them on Criticless and that park place and other places that I write? 
I'm curious. I want to know because I can do that. I just it'll change the algorithm for the channel. There, thank you, Debud. Yeah, there's Bricky's 40k factions explained. There it is. Well done. <laughs> Culture lab for science stories, and so sci-fi stuff. Oh, I would love to do that too. Sci-fi is in short supply these days. That's why I really did enjoy Fallout. You guys probably want to look at my video. Um, understand where I'm coming from. Oh wow, a lot of you got it. Thanks, Chris. Chris Persa got it also. Yeah. <laughs> oh please, Schwab witches. He was the emperor. Yes. Uh, uh, oh, it wasn't bad enough. 40k wasn't bad enough, so they had to add, they had to add uh, the fall of of uh, uh, woke to it. There you go. Yeah, I love it. That's genius. Um, let's say <laughs> Black Saber's like both, both. Yeah, look at you guys. You're awesome. Boog for twenty. Uh, Mexican pesos, I think, or 20 Mexican dollars. I'm not sure how you guys call your money anymore. Uh, thoughts on uh, one P-Man or Ip Man uh, film being uh, rewritten by Dan Harmon. I don't have any thoughts on that yet because I have not seen that story. Um, one P-Man? One Piece? No. One P-Man film being rewritten by Dan Harmon. Hmm. Boog, I want to answer this right now to honor the twenty dollar, uh, twenty Mexican dollars super chat, but I can't because I'm not informed enough to know. Uh, I'd have to look at the oh one punch man. Thank you. Oh gosh. Um. Wow. Okay. Uh. uh is this the same Dan Harmon from um, Rockstar? Can somebody help me with that? Because if that's the case, it's probably got a good chance. Uh. Well, the Chancery Court, um, uh, Kalikioki, who I appreciate your super or your uh, chat here, uh, ha has, seems to have um, some problems now with some judges that don't don't work well. Uh, for corporate structure, uh, a bunch of recent decisions. A lot of uh, CEOs are trying to get the company out of there. Um, you need to guess on the genre, guys. Sure thing. So, does somebody answer my Harmon question? You don't have to super chat. Just you know, throw my name in there. I want to see it out there. Oh, pesos. Thank you for that. Uh, Rob Thunderheart says wants reviews. Okay, I'll do some older reviews. Sounds fun. Shout Studios, streaming space 1999 to Thunderbirds on multiple channels on YouTube. Most of the Anderson. Oh, really? That is also good to know. Fantastic. Yeah, thank you. I figured it out. One Punch Man, brain death. Yeah, I'm just old, guys. Yeah, everybody in the chat's like, it's One Punch Man, dummy. All right. Stitch for $2. Culture's morning constitutional. Like, I like it. It sounds like I'm sitting on the toilet, Stitch. I don't know. But thanks for the two bucks. Appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> Cyrano2960 says, great. Now I have to repaint 5,000 Marines. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, Rick and Morty. Uh, well, now we're screwed. <laughs> Rick and Morty. I thought it was the good Dan Harmon. Wow. Um, wow, that's bad. That's terrible. That's really awful. I'm so I'm so sick and tired of the like Rick and Morty humor in anything or everything. Aren't you guys? Boo, what are you I mean, are you aren't you tired of it? It's garbage. Uh weird for an Australian five dollars. Can you get uh, Doomcock, Valiant, Renegade, Geeks and Gamers, Mike, all of them to react to Hell's Reach fan made? Uh no one is doing reactions. Oh, well, let me write it down. Hang on. I, like Gary, I'm old school because I want to not forget things. I have pen and paper. Pen and paper. Thank you for the $5 Australian weird. Uh, so let's see. DC. VR. I like how we all have initials. G and G. <laughs> That's true. Because I'm CC, right? Uh, 
M-I-M, that's Mexican Iron Man. Um, and we want Hell's Reach. Fan-made film. Okay. Uh, no one's doing reactions. All right. I will get on this and send some messages around. I can't make anybody get do it, but I can talk to them about doing it. Um, I, I mean, I'll do it. I, I, I'll check it out. I'm easy made. Easy made on looking at good material. So, yeah, thank you. Yeah, I figured it out, guys. Thank you. Uh, community wasn't terrible. Uh, yeah, Ip Man <laughs> and no remake. Yeah, let's not do that. Ip Man is awesome. Okay, guys, thank you for... Yes, I got it. Um, yeah, no, no, thank you. Sorry, th there's a lot of writers who have the same name in a lot of different areas. So I naturally go to video games. Sorry, that's why I'm going to be doing a gaming channel for another group here in the near future. So keep your eyeballs on that because... We gotta get we gotta get hardcore on gaming now. Oh, I knew it was a joke, Stitch. I knew it was a joke. <laughs> uh, I don't want stupid humor in my. Uh, uh, I, I don't want stupid stupid humor in one one punch man. I don't. Uh, and I don't want woke garbage because I mean, look how what look what happened to. Oh, I'm so tired of this crap. Oh, let's see. <laughs> I think it's going to be terrible. They are going to have, uh, uh, wow. Yeah, no, you're right. This is going to be really, really bad. And they are going to change characters. Yeah. It's so frustrating. Um, all right. What else do we got? Thank you, Marielle Newith. I love bonus time too. Speaking of bonus time, here's a friend. Here's a pal. Here's a buddy. Theme park casual. How you doing, my friend? Good to good to see you. Hope you're doing well. How's your how are you doing? You were growing like a weed. Plus, I like all your alternate um iconography. I think it's great. You're doing a good job, man. Kalikioki drops a dollar ninety nine super chat and says, uh, gotta have all C's in your new show name. Okay. All right. I'll figure it out. It just, it just feels like it's longer every time. I mean, right now we're sitting at 37 minutes. I started five minutes early today, which seems to be the norm. So we're 38 minutes into this. It's uh, 19 minutes after the hour. So I always thought this would be a good time. And I, and I, think, I think I was right. We got a member chat. Uh, uh, the old man cometh. The old man cometh. Thank you for that. Remember, for six months. Thank you for that. I don't play 40K game, but I love the books. There you go. Seriously, if you, you go out and buy these before they get retro changed to the dark side. <laughs> I don't I don't think it's blasphemy, Griffin. <laughs> Did not like Rick and Morgan. Yeah, I know a lot of people who just didn't like it. Um, and I just, I, I don't know. This is frustrating. I hate things being destroyed. Very tired of it. It's, it, it doesn't, you're destroying the value in everything. So people will come up with new things that are valuable and not hand them to you because you're bad people. And that's why I like everything that everybody's doing in the creator community. For the people that are building things, in my hand right here, I have a scroll for a tabletop game that one of the people handed to me in Vegas for their game. I'm going to look it over and start pushing things. If it, it, look, if stuff's good, I'm going to push it with what we need in our space. When we need more voices yelling loudly about this, we need more people in the chats talking about this. You guys are the, the impetus for change now. We have to get counter to this garbage narrative that's pushing this incredibly divisive, myopic position across everything, all elements of culture. Not only are we headed to, into a dark age because of this garbage, um, we are already entering into a cultural dark age that I made an argument for the other day that I think cannot be denied. 
nobody can deny what I said. Things are being destroyed or brought down to a level where nobody wants to consume it. They will drift away in time. The value will be lost. The people who can be the next generation of greatness have to do things that will lift us up culturally and spread across the world. That's what needs to happen. Changing the culture in the West, specifically the United States, changes global culture because Western culture permeated most of the world. Anyway. Huh, sorry about that. Uh, uh, there isn't a designated React channel for everyone. In fact, can you bring up that Hell's Reach video, just uh, the prologue? Um, I I would love to accept uh weird I am I am uh I'm kind of limited for time now because I have to edit a video that I have to get up at eleven. Uh, I was gonna try to wrap up. Um, you guys have gotten me very impassioned though. Um, I tell you what, I'll, I'll make you a bargain. Um, do you think I'm gonna get claimed for it? Uh, if not, I will. Let's see, tomorrow's Thursday. I will have. Won't have be able to do no I should be able to do bonus time so tomorrow is Thursday so if you um I won't and I also won't be pressed to be on midnight's edge in 40 minutes um I'm gonna write that down too so uh let's let's shoot for tomorrow um it, just mention it in the chat you don't have to super chat I appreciate all these wonderful super chats but mention it in the chat I will have it queued up but I'm gonna try to have it queued up in advance so um Dbud, can you send me a DM um, with that link so I don't forget it? Thanks, friend. Um, or any of the mods who are here, I really appreciate it. Um, da, 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 da. Um, yeah, 40K is amazing. So, yes, uh, yeah, send me that. J just send just send me that, uh, and I will, I will look into it. Um... Wow, yeah, been a minute since theme park casual. Yeah, good to see, good to see your beard. Well, thank you, <laughs> thank you, uh, Boog. Wow, we're dropping dropping pesos regularly. Your thoughts on the Fallout show? Believe it or not, I'm a lot of people are not going to like this, and I did release a review which you can check out. I'll be writing one over on Critic List later today. Um, I've got a, I've got three stories to write in one. In, in, in one uh, review to write today. So, uh, but uh, your thoughts on the Fallout show? I think, I think it was very good. I know a lot of people didn't like it. They think it changes the lore of certain games. I understand, you know, uh, Fallout New Vegas was your jam. You're kind of up in arms. I am not so married to the lore that I can't allow for a little bit of a change here and there. Nothing that was presented in the show, despite the appearance of it being modernity was really truly modernity the reaction from the alphabet folks um the you know the activists they um they don't like it because it's not uh queer enough um these are words i don't normally say on my six minute show but there you go so um but i thought it was awfully good and if you watch my review you get my rating and all that so yes i'm gonna make you watch my review but i thought i thought it was i th i'm waiting for season two can't wait to put that in my review later today um and thank you is this live for promoting the video but then thank you boog for the 20 pesos i appreciate that um oh you can call it the cultural high rollers i i wish i could but i named a tier after that <laughs> weird um I I love the fact that you know, look you, the fact that you guys are giving me these names. I seriously I'm going to put together a poll hopefully before Midnight Edge gets started, and uh, Midnight Edge in the morning gets started, and I will throw um I'll throw throw it to the to all of you. So I'll put up three or four suggestions we've had on stream, and then uh, and then you guys can add in the comments below it what you think, and then we'll 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 kind of narrow it down in a few polls. Of course, somebody's suggested I don't change it at all. We'll see. Uh, you can do film school with film threat in the culture lab. That would be great. Um, man, I love Chris and Alan and everybody over there. Um, 
We've got we've got some talent, folks. Deep, deep talent. I love it. Um, man, you guys are just going crazy today. Um, Captain Phantom Nerd has been a member for 30 months and says, Good morning. Well, good morning to you, sir. It's good to see you. You guys should check out Captain Phantom Nerd. Good friend. He does he I hope you're still doing more stuff, dude. I'm gonna start yelling at you. Thanks for being a high roller. Um Horseradish Power, member chat. Thank you, my friend. 16 months a member. I will be switching to one page rules. Bye. All right. See you later. <laughs> Horseradish Power is awesome. Uh, let's see what else is happening. Um, somebody's asking. I love these super chats asking me questions about stuff. Are you familiar with analog horror on YouTube? I am not. Uh, but I love horror movies, so there you've given me another, something else to write down. I already don't sleep. What are you guys trying to do to me? Um, I'm seeing all these supers, guys. I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep up. Boog again. Uh, says, uh, so Fallout fans should have gate-kept normies. Uh, sure. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Uh, honestly, I mean, I'm not a normie. I, I, I'm, I, I replay Fallout games all the time. I've got a pretty decent uh, dive into Fallout Four again. Um, I've played as both a dude and a chick. Um, so yeah, um, but I get where you're coming from. I do. My buddy Scott Westbrook gifted five culture casino memberships. Thank you, Scott. I appreciate you, my friend. You are amazing. Um, did I miss anything else? I know Chris Persa gave 10 a little bit ago. My buddy Gramcast uh, it got a membership. My goodness. Um, let's see who else is out there. Um, yeah, Rambam 3000. That's true. That's true. Uh, let's see. You guys are on fire in the chat. Oh, I wish I could keep up with you. Um, yeah, the lore change they made to the Brotherhood of Steel was terrible. Now, we could just call this a different faction. Like they're different from the Boston faction, et cetera, et cetera. Because um, I, I, I think it depends on leadership. Um. If I'm not mistaken, no, I'm. I know I'm not mistaken. Uh, uh, Brotherhood of Steel seems different in Fallout Four. Um, I think it just depends. And again, I mean, as good as I think the show was, it was made by the same team that destroyed Westworld after the first season. So all of us could be really, you know, thinking, "Well, this is a pretty decent show, good sci-fi." And then when we get to season two, it gets destroyed from that point forward. Hard to say, you know. I tell you what, they did allow for great character growth in Lucy. And um, I really actually thought uh, Maximus's character was weak. And I was not a fan. Um, so there's that. Rogue Thinker says, um, Brotherhood of Steel should be like uh, the, the soldiers in Soldier with Kurt Russell. I'd have to watch that again to make a decision there. Um, <laughs> there's still an insane cult <clears throat> that think they're right about everything. That's true. Uh, having a brother be doubtful about the cause is meh. Well, I'm going to say it this way. Maximus was not my favorite character in this. Here's the weird thing. Okay, raise your hand if you've seen it, and raise your hand if you thought the ghoul was the best character. Because I think the ghoul was the best character. So, there's that. All right. I got to bop out of here, guys. Like I said, I'm limited on time. Uh, weird. I will uh, put that Hell's, uh, Hell's Reach uh, thing uh, f on the list for tomorrow. 
And uh, if I don't, somebody remind me so that I can get that done. And we'll we'll watch it in bonus time in a, in a bit. So we got some hands up, like low spec Linux laptop. Um, yeah, look at these hands. Yeah, look at all this. You guys are so great. Thank you for your response. Uh, good morning, Marcus Squintus. Good to see you. Daryl Brewer's got his hand up. Love it. Rogue Thinker's like, farewell and enjoy. Yeah, I got I got to get this video edited, and I have to get over on Midnight Touch in the morning because we kick that off. Oh, by the way, you're going to be automatically redirected over there uh, and all of that. So, um, yeah, I hate to dip out, but we got to be done. I got, I got work to do. I got a lot of writing to do. Uh, and we've been 50, almost 51 minutes. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for all the super chats and the gift memberships. You guys are great. Be sure to take care of yourself, take care of others. And until next time, see ya.